So my little mobile garden is not without adversity. I have had to learn to overcome a ton of adversity in this uh, little garden that I've been hauling around with me from Florida to Arizona and back. So uh, we were up in Munns Park, Arizona, which is pretty far north, not pretty far north of here. It's like, like 45 minutes north of here. And it is about 15 degrees cooler up there you know, pretty much any given time. So, um, the plants had done really well up there in those milder temperatures. And then now we just came back down into the Verde Valley for the last month of our stay in October. And, uh, we have a Western exposure and so they got really hot. So, uh, here's what I did to try to overcome this adversity. Listen, there were definitely some casualties a few died I'm very sad about that but um, that's just part of overcoming adversity with a mobile garden you have to learn what keeps them alive and what doesn't so continue on continuing on um, I will show you my uh, the what I've got how I've got it set up and how I'm keeping it from burning up in the sun so first of all this is bok choy that I had to harvest early because it had gotten sun scorched. Just within like two hours that I had them out before I got them back in the greenhouse. Um, but then I put them in the greenhouse and uh, I didn't have a cover for them. So I put them inside the greenhouse and uh, with just the clear plastic covering and they got way too hot. So, um, so I put a couple of beach towels over them and then we went straight to Lowe's and got these things here. So these block up to 50% of the UV rays coming into the greenhouse. And um, I'll show you what happened to my peppers here. See, I had a few that got sun scorched here. And now, you know, I'm just gonna put them back into the compost. But these down here, I don't know. I'm gonna watch them and see, but see that one back there in the back that's orange? That one turned orange and none of them had turned colors till we got here. They were like, whoo, it's hot, get me out of here. The arugula though, underneath this, this shade, is doing really, really well. Uh, now that I have the big shade on it, I have a lot more over there. And then there's some bok choy over there too some new bok choy now for the existing bok choy i put it i put them underneath these things here so this is one of them here i mean he looks better but definitely needs a little attention um and then over here my elephant ears you can see they're like really in bad shape so hopefully the temperatures here are supposed to drop significantly in the next couple of days so I'm hoping that'll give them some new life so uh this little tomato bush here which is uh having a hard time with its little stand here um this little tomato bush made tomatoes before we left I was giving it one last chance and it finally fruited and uh now I'm just keeping it under this little greenhouse cover thing and that's keeping the major sun off of it now my, my other tomatoes, uh, they definitely uh, are facing some adversity. So here is...